Hi guys, welcome. We are on Wayland. We are recording with OBS Studio, so we'll see if the sound is any good. But, um, well, may maybe first of all, what you're looking at is my left screen, and the right screen has the other um, five desktops. But I'd like to tell you if you update today, right, then you get a new configuration in. It's already in, of course. And um, all the updates that are, well, not all, but most of them, we don't really want to write in your personal home directory, right? We stay out of your home directory. And um, where is it then? In the ETC scale. So when we update i3, BSP, WM, awesome, right? These have all configurations and they're written in ETC scale. And once you make a new uh, person, a new user, right? Then all of this in any Linux system gets copy paste it over to the home directory. So what you need to do is think it through. Do I want the very last code that com comes from any distribution, right? It's gonna be in here and hyper has a new file, hyperpaper.conf. It's basically an application that you can install, hyperpaper. And um, I don't think I've ever made a video about it about Hyperpaper, but it was always on our repo. So Arcanlix repo third party line number two. And there's also the default there on the extra. So the Git is the very last from the code from the developer, GitHub, by the way. So there you'll find information. What we needed, what I needed to figure out was, um, let's take this as a little bit of coloring. Perl is great to have some colors. So what I needed to do is uh, which one will I take and seeing that we want to have a little bit of continuity, right? I took the article wallpapers, always going to be one article wallpaper. So the preload is here, the wallpaper is here. This I needed to figure out because the official one from GitHub said monitor one, monitor two. And I remember there was something called cyber hyper CTL. Right, so if you type hyper, these are the things you can have. And I thought there was something and then tap, tap. What was it again? Monitor. So that's why of how I knew my machine, my monitor, the right monitor, that's the right one. And this is the left one was called that, right? So I replaced monitor one and with monitor two. And that's probably something you need to do as well. And what are we talking about? A wallpaper setter, right? Just nothing more, nothing less. A wallpaper that you can set um, and go to, for instance, uh, Control Alt F here. Oh yeah, there it is. It's already loaded. So Hyperpaper made it, made a copy paste of this thing. Control by the config. So that's the config. We have it by default now. And up to you to decide if you use it. So by default, it's not on. And you have here some more examples, DP minus one and stuff you can add. So up to you to decide if you wanna use it. It's there and the config paper by default, we have a file there. And here in Hyperland itself, you'll find that there is a line, but it's entirely up to you if you're using that line. So exec once. If you install the application, then you can use the configuration and then you can activate it with this thing. And off you go. You have for yourself a configuration of a wallpaper, right? It's not a, not changing. That would be variety. Variety would change it every single time you boot up. Variety minus N, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. So that's um, entirely up to you. Just showing you that there is a new code here for hyper paper. Cheers.